yourself and what you have to Hi, my name is Sim. I'm a Community Development and Engagement Manager at Greenwich and Bexley Community Hospice. I recently graduated of April 2022 from studying politics and international relations at the University of West. Can you walk us through your experience as a recent graduate and how did it let you to your current role in Greenwich Bexley Community Hospice? Yes, so my role was a little bit rocky um, in terms of getting a placement. I think most people um, in third year are kind of scrambling and looking for securing their next place. Um, I was a little bit more unsure of what I wanted to do. I knew the field that I wanted to do was charity um, and I studied a module at um, university in charity um, but didn't really know specifically where to start, you know, there's so many different organisations and, and different places that you can start off within the charity sector um, and I think that was quite overwhelming um, and so I knew I just wanted to spend a little bit of time more so thinking um, and just doing my own thing so I spend a lot of time in church, um, a lot of time with my family, doing the things that I think university um, maybe stopped you from doing um, and it just allowed me to kind of think more about my future um, rather than rush into it um, and one of the placements I did sign up for was the charity um, works one and um, it progressively took me about a year so it was a very long process to then secure this role. Can you share your journey through the charity works program and how it has impacted your career outcoming of university? Yes, so Charity Works was very, very supportive um, in getting your foot through the door with that sector. Um, like I was saying before, it is a very, very broad field um, and there's so many different roles and organisations that you can find yourself in. Um, and so they really take their time to get to know your skills, um, what you enjoy um, and partner you up with different organisations that can cater to that. Um, because they are so specific and personal, it does take a little bit longer. Um, there was many, many interview rounds um, with groups, individuals, um, and also doing um, a lot of experience whilst interviewing as well. So we had to do a few tasks like writing letters um, and just practicing before we actually got um, placed. Um, after the placement, after you've secured your role with Charity Works itself, um, you're either put on the waiting list or they match you up straight away. I was put on the waiting list, so it took a while for me to then get placed after all the other people before me. Um, and in, if you see a role that you are interested in, in you just have to type your personal statement um, specifically to that role. Um, and then if they think you're a good candidate, they will match you up. What misconceptions did you have about the charity sector when you were a student? Um, I think the main misconception I had was um, the different places that you can be placed in in one organisation. Um, so at first I think people just think it's either fundraising, it's either marketing or it's actually doing the grassroots work of you know, giving out resources and helping people one to one. Um, it's actually a lot more broad than that and there's way more different roles that you can um, go into and I think also knowing um, the different type of charity organisations as well. I come from a very non-clinical background, studying politics, um, English history all my life, so I never actually studied medicine but I, I work in a hospice which is foundationally medical um, but I work on the charity side of it. So um, you know understanding that charity isn't just you know giving out resources and things like that, it, it comes in many different forms. Um, in helping people, so yeah. Why the charity sector? Was that something that you thought you were going to be doing after graduation? Um, I think I've always had a passion for charity. Um, I think a lot of people have that desire within them from you know any ages. Mine was when I was quite young, but I didn't know what it was. So I think most people would categorise it as I just want to help people. Um, but you don't really know that charity specifically that is a whole sector and an, an employable um, field in itself um, so I've always known that I've wanted to help people I think it stems from my faith in Christianity um, and you know it is, it is a beautiful and amazing thing to give back um, to all people um, but I didn't know that I would be doing it as an employer or an employee um, 
I thought that it would be something that I did maybe on the side of my career. I didn't know that I could make a full-time career out of it. Um, and so, yeah, I'm very happy that I found myself here. <laughs> Can you describe your role in Greenwich Baxley Community Hospice and the impact it had on the community? So my role um, is a community development and engagement manager. Um, essentially I work with local communities that we don't see engaged with the hospice that are quite large in our boroughs um, and trying to find ways in understanding their needs, their concerns, how they deal with bereavement um, and end of life care um, and just trying to find ways in which they can engage the way that they want to engage with. Um, so that could be maybe room hire, that could be um, maybe setting up workshops or it could be attending events um, that they can hear from us or you know getting a specialist to maybe turn up to their events um, really just putting the hospice out into the community. Can you tell us about a particular project or initiative that you've been part of with the Greenwich and Baxter Community Hospice? Um, so we do have something called Compassionate Neighbours at Greenwich and Bexley Community Hospice. Um, essentially it's where we have our key coordinator that matches up volunteers from the boroughs to visit um, patients in the community. So actually we only have 13 patients within our hospice itself, but 700 patients out in the community that we visit. Um, and so Compassionate Neighbours um, is you get trained up to essentially visit someone um, once or twice a week um, and kind of, you know, be a support to someone that might be feeling lonely, um, listening to them, spending time with them, supporting them with, you know, household duties. Um, and that's something that I recently had training for and it was beautiful to visit people in their, in their homes and, you know, support people in a way that's, you know, still clinical but not you know, direct in the hospice. It was amazing helping people where they want to be helped, which is sometimes in their homes. How has your experience in the hospice shaped your passion for the charity sector? Um, I think working in the hospice has massively shaped my passion for the charity sector. Um, we are a big organisation, um, there is a lot of employers um, and it's definitely opened my eyes to see even in terms of recruitment side, um, you know, how many people you can get involved in charity using their specialties. Um, so even if it's people that, you know, have more of a financial background, more of a clinical background, you know, everyone can work together um, for a charitable cause, which um, is amazing. Um, and I think it's definitely shown me um, to not just limit myself to what I've known and what I've experienced. Um, so again, I was speaking with um, one of our community patients yesterday and she mentioned maybe opening a charity for um, children who have cancer. Um, and again, because that's not my background, I would have never thought of that. But, you know, charity is not just what you're good at, but it's about using the people around you to help people that need it. Um, and so it's definitely shaped my passion in that way. What's next for you? What's your hopes and aspirations? Um, so I have just started this role at Greenwich and Bexley Community Hospice and I am really loving it. I think I will be here for a little while longer. Um, but in terms of aspirations for the future, um, I'd love to open my own charity, um, combining what I have experienced and what I'm yet to experience, again not limiting myself. Um, so when I was in university I did set up my own business, um, a tutoring company and so I have a passion for working with children. Um, and also my faith is very important to me, so I would like to combine all three um, and kind of set up a charity um, abroad for children, um, you know, teaching them the word of God, but also, you know, giving them resources, helping them um, with all different types of things that they need um, educationally as well. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm working towards, um, but yeah, not limited to. So yeah, excited for the future.